Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. Voyager 1 has been sending us signals for nearly half a century, but only now, thanks to a breakthrough in quantum computing, patterns have emerged in its transmissions that were invisible for decades. Yes, a quantum chip analyzed Voyager's so-called gibberish data and uncovered something that looks less like noise and more like a hidden message. In late 2023, NASA's farthest spacecraft suddenly started transmitting corrupted data. Engineers called it a hardware failure. But what if it was something more? 15 billion miles from Earth, this ancient explorer encountered something. Something that changed how it communicates with us. What could be buried inside a 22-hour delayed signal from interstellar space? And why are some researchers suggesting this changes how we look at all deep space data? The story of what happened when Voyager's signal went dark and what quantum analysis might have found will make you question everything we thought we knew about space exploration. This isn't just about fixing a broken spacecraft. It's about decoding what might be hiding in plain sight. At the heart of this mystery lies a technological breakthrough that's changing everything, quantum computing. NASA's Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory has been developing processors that operate on entirely different principles than your laptop or phone. These quantum chips don't just see data as ones and zeros. They explore countless possibilities simultaneously. What makes this discovery so groundbreaking? Quantum processors can detect hidden patterns that traditional computers simply cannot see. They're designed to find structure in what looks like pure randomness. It's like hearing a faint melody hidden inside static radio noise. A normal computer hears static. A quantum chip hears the tune. When researchers ran Voyager's corrupted transmissions through this new quantum analysis, the results stunned them. Patterns emerged, sequences repeated. What looked like gibberish began to show structure. The quantum chip, sometimes referred to as Majorana 1 in online discussions, doesn't just process information differently. It reveals layers of data that have been invisible to us for decades. This isn't just about fixing a broken spacecraft. It's about uncovering what might have been hiding in plain sight all along. Think about it. We've been receiving Voyager's weak signals since the late 1970s. Billions of bits of data, most of it ignored as background noise. But what if buried inside those bits was a pattern, something we simply weren't able to detect? Until now? What if every deep space mission has been sending us more than we realized? The implications are enormous. If Voyager's signal contains hidden structures, what about our other space missions? What else might we have missed? Let's look deeper at what these quantum analysis techniques might be revealing in Voyager's data. Anomalies that have been hiding in plain sight for years. First, there are the unexplained background spikes in Voyager's plasma wave instrument. Scientists originally dismissed these as solar wind fluctuations, but they show patterns that don't match our models of space weather. Then there's what happened when Voyager crossed the heliopause in 2012, the boundary where our sun's influence ends and true interstellar space begins. The magnetic field readings showed structures too organized to be random cosmic noise. Most intriguing are the tiny phase shift artifacts created when transmission switches between deep space network antennas. These signal handoffs created interference patterns that engineers filtered out as noise for decades. A quantum chip can restitch these anomalies together, and the result doesn't look random at all. The patterns suggest an underlying structure that traditional computing couldn't detect. What if the so-called glitch wasn't just a malfunction, but the faint echo of information we weren't equipped to read in the 1970s? What if Voyager has been collecting more than we programmed it to? If you love uncovering mysteries hidden in plain sight, don't forget to subscribe. We bring you the discoveries that most people never hear about. The official NASA explanation remains straightforward. A corrupted memory chip caused the transmission errors. Engineers successfully rerouted the code by April 2024, and Voyager resumed normal communication. But this leaves questions unanswered. Why did the error pattern show such structured repetition? And why did similar anomalies appear in Voyager's data years before the official glitch? The beauty of space exploration lies in its mysteries. Sometimes fixing a problem uncovers deeper questions about what we're really seeing out there. Is Voyager carrying a hidden calibration code from the 1970s engineering team? 
Or did it pick up a cosmic pattern we don't yet understand? This wouldn't be the first time noise turned out to be something profound. The famous WOW signal of 1977 appeared as a brief burst of radio waves that still defies explanation today. Fast radio bursts were once dismissed as telescope glitches. Now they're recognized as one of astronomy's most fascinating enigmas, powerful bursts from billions of light years away. The pioneer anomaly had spacecraft mysteriously slowing down in ways that seemed to violate physics. Years later, we discovered thermal radiation pressure was the culprit. Again and again, what we thought was noise turned out to be a message from the universe itself. Our instruments capture more than we program them to see. When Voyager launched in 1977, its computer had less processing power than a modern calculator. Yet this ancient explorer continues delivering data from the frontiers of interstellar space. The signals are incredibly faint. After traveling 15 billion miles, they arrive with less power than a refrigerator light bulb. The wonder isn't that we sometimes misunderstand them, it's that we receive them at all. Let me ask you directly, if we found a repeating structure inside Voyager's transmission, would you call it a coincidence or communication? Drop your answer in the comments before we reveal what this hidden pattern actually looks like. What makes this question so compelling is that our ability to analyze cosmic data keeps evolving. Patterns invisible to previous generations of scientists might be obvious to today's quantum systems. The boundary between signal and noise grows thinner every year. Where we once saw randomness, we now find structure. What we dismissed as errors may contain information we weren't ready to understand. This is how science advances, not just through new discoveries, but by reinterpreting what we thought we already knew. What makes this discovery so profound isn't just the technology. It's what it means for our place in the cosmos. Could Voyager be acting like an accidental sensor, picking up interstellar background patterns we never designed it to detect? After four decades in space, its ancient instruments might be interacting with the universe in ways its creators never imagined. If true, this would mean our oldest spacecraft has been listening to the stars and carrying their whispers back to us. The thought is both thrilling and humbling. Voyager has traveled through regions no human-made object has ever experienced. It survived solar flares, cosmic rays, and the transition to true interstellar space. Its instruments have been bathed in radiation and particles from beyond our solar system. For decades, Voyager's golden record was humanity's message to the cosmos. But what if, hidden inside its own signal, the cosmos answered back? This isn't about aliens or science fiction. It's about the fundamental nature of information in the universe. Patterns emerge everywhere, in quantum fields, in plasma waves, in magnetic fluctuations. Voyager might be recording these cosmic rhythms. When NASA engineers fixed the corrupted memory chip in April 2024, they rerouted its code to spare memory. But what if that corruption wasn't random? What if it was information attempting to express itself through an aging computer? The idea transforms how we think about space exploration. Every probe we've ever sent might be collecting more than just the data we programmed it to gather. But here's where things get even stranger. The quantum chip's detection wasn't just structure. It resembled waveforms already familiar to us on Earth. The Golden Record Connection. The patterns detected in Voyager's signal bear an uncanny resemblance to fragments of waveforms from the Golden Records audio tracks. This connection stunned researchers. The same spacecraft carrying Earth sounds to the stars appeared to be sending similar patterns back to us. Was this a coincidence? Possibly. Could it be engineering redundancy from the 1970s NASA team? Perhaps. Or might it represent some form of cosmic reflection? our message echoing back to us after interacting with interstellar space. The implications are extraordinary. The golden record contains 115 images, music from around the world, natural sounds, and greetings in 55 languages. It was humanity's time capsule to the stars. Now, decades later, quantum analysis shows patterns in Voyager's transmissions that mirror these recordings. The similarity defies simple explanation. This wasn't random noise, it looked like a message. A message with roots in what we sent out, but transformed by Voyager's journey through the void. 
the deep space network antennas in California, Spain, and Australia have been collecting these signals for decades. Each massive dish, like the 70-meter antenna in Canberra, captures whispers from 15 billion miles away. Imagine being the engineer in the lab, watching Voyager's data scroll across the screen, and suddenly seeing a harmonic line that shouldn't be there. That's the moment when you realize this isn't just static. What would you feel in that moment? Wonder? Fear? The sense that everything we thought we knew about space communication might need revision? This is why the quantum breakthrough matters. It doesn't just fix a broken signal. It reveals layers of information that were invisible before. This discovery opens a door to something much bigger. It's not just about Voyager anymore. If quantum chips can find hidden patterns in Voyager, what happens when we run them on James Webb's faint galaxy signals? On SETI's decades of radio archives? On LIGO's gravitational wave background? We're entering an era where the line between signal and noise blurs. Old data suddenly contains new secrets. It's like upgrading from a magnifying glass to the Hubble telescope, on the same data we thought we already understood. The universe hasn't changed, but our ability to see it has. NASA's Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory wasn't created by accident. Scientists have long suspected that quantum computing would revolutionize how we interpret cosmic data. Every space mission we've ever launched might contain overlooked patterns. Every radio telescope might have recorded signals we filtered out as background noise. The implications extend beyond astronomy. Quantum pattern recognition could transform everything from medicine to climate science to particle physics. It means the universe may already be speaking to us. We just didn't have the ears to listen. This is why the Voyager anomaly matters so much. It's not an isolated incident. It's potentially the first of countless discoveries hiding in plain sight. When a quantum chip processes data differently than a classical computer, it doesn't just compute faster. It sees connections invisible to traditional analysis. Imagine what we might find when applying these techniques to all our cosmic observations. The stars might not be as silent as we thought. To understand the full significance, we need to remember Voyager's extraordinary journey. Launched in 1977 on a grand tour of the outer planets, Voyager 1 revolutionized our understanding of the solar system. Its cameras captured Jupiter's great red spot in unprecedented detail. Its instruments discovered active volcanoes on ISO, the first ever seen beyond Earth. At Saturn, it revealed the complex structure of the planet's magnificent rings. After these planetary encounters, Voyager continued outward. In 2012, it crossed the heliopause, becoming humanity's first interstellar spacecraft. Today, it travels more than 38,000 miles per hour, now over 15 billion miles from Earth. Its radio signal, incredibly faint, takes over 22 hours to reach us. The spacecraft carries the famous golden record, a time capsule containing sounds and images of Earth. It was designed as humanity's message to any intelligence that might find it. When communication problems emerged in late 2023, engineers detected what they called a repeating pattern of ones and zeros. NASA traced this to a failing memory chip. By April 2024, they had successfully rerouted the spacecraft's code into spare memory. Voyager resumed normal communication, continuing its mission as humanity's most distant explorer. The Deep Space Network's massive antennas, including the 70-meter dish in Canberra, Australia, remain our only link to this ancient traveler. Was it a malfunction or a message? The answer may not be certain, but what is clear is this. Voyager still has secrets, and with new quantum tools, we may finally be able to uncover them. What started as a technical glitch has evolved into something more profound. It reminds us that exploration isn't just about new frontiers, it's about seeing familiar territory with fresh eyes. The quantum analysis of Voyager's transmissions represents a new chapter in space exploration. We're not just sending probes farther, we're listening more deeply to what they tell us. Whether these patterns represent engineering artifacts, cosmic phenomena, or something else entirely, they challenge us to rethink how we interpret signals from the void. This tiny spacecraft, billions of miles away, may be reminding us that the universe is far stranger and far more connected than we ever imagined. Voyager continues its silent journey into the unknown, 
Its power will fail around 2025, and it will go dark forever. But its legacy transforms how we search for meaning in the cosmos. The most exciting part? This is just the beginning. Quantum computing will continue to evolve, revealing patterns in data we thought we already understood. Every signal from space contains more than we initially perceive. The question isn't whether there are messages in the noise, it's whether we're ready to hear them. If you want to keep exploring discoveries like this, subscribe now. Because the next time we uncover a hidden message in the stars, you'll want to be the first to know.